Hey YouTube, what's up? And welcome back to tutorial number 30. And in this tutorial, you can see that I'm using the exact same code as the previous tutorials. But um, I know some of you guys are probably sitting here like, what the heck is row span or what the heck is call span? So let me just go ahead and explain. Call span, let me just run this in Firefox, it'll probably be easier for you guys. Call span is when you have a cell, so that's one of these things, that goes over multiple columns. So let's say the word album went over this column and this column. So there wasn't a border here and there wasn't the word track here. That would be call span. And row span is basically the same thing except with rows. So we could have the word or the cell walking away go in this column and the, well, in this row and in this row so yeah uh, if it doesn't make sense now then don't worry <laughs> uh, it'll make a lot more sense after the practical example that I'm going to show you guys so let's just go ahead and say that I wanted to add in a like links to social websites on my table so I could go ahead and add in a header at the top Tuple header and uh, we can just call the social for the social websites and then in my second and my third row for each band I can add in the social websites so uh, table data ending table data I just copy that okay and uh, we can say that they are on Twitter and we can go ahead and we could actually make um, a tags around here but uh, there's no point we can just leave it as like a fake link for now doesn't really matter and uh, okay so we've got Twitter and then we can have Facebook and I'm actually just gonna copy this again <laughs> really lazy work okay paste so now we have Twitter and we've got Facebook for each one of our bands and we've got a header at the top that says social. Um, so let's go ahead and save this, go back to Firefox and if we click refresh you can see that we now have a cell called social but it only takes up one column and our social links are actually taking up two columns. We've got Twitter and we've got Facebook but the social is only taking up one column so we can use call span to fix this so we can go back to our um, notepad and in our table header for social we can go ahead and add the attribute called call span and we can set this equal to two okay so by default call span is always one you never actually have to set it to one so we can set it to two and when we click refresh you can see that our column now sp spans or our table header now spans over two columns so it doesn't just take the Twitter column but it covers the Facebook column too so that's pretty much what call span does and row span is pretty much exactly the same thing except down with rows so we can go ahead and make an example of that real quick um, in the third row I'm just gonna go and take out my two social columns there and I'm gonna save this and just to show you guys what it's gonna look like without those two cells there you can see we now have a row that's only got three columns and then the fourth column or the fourth and the fifth column are missing so we can go back to our notepad and over here you can see we've got our, our Twitter and our, we've got our Facebook columns over here so we can just go ahead and add in the attribute of row span and we can set this equal to 2 and over here to row span row span equal to 2 awesome save that go back to Firefox now and if we click refresh you can see we now have these two columns spanning over or these two cells 
spanning over multiple rows so you can see they go over two rows now sometimes when you look at another person's code you might see that they're actually using row span of 99 whoops <laughs> 99 okay and the reason for that is because it doesn't really make um, much of a visual difference here okay it's just to make sure that the row that's or the, the cell that is spanning multiple rows goes all the way down to the end of the table so even if you had like 20 rows your um, cell would still span over all 20 ro rows so that's pretty much uh, what row span and call span do and uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful so thank you very much and I will see you guys next time I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment like or share my videos it's really gonna help my channel grow so thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time